Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm giving you part 6 of this interior scene that we're making in Blender. Um, here's the final results again. Uh, in this part we're carrying on with the materials. We've already made the wall materials and the... Um, well, all the walls and the floor and these window materials. Uh, but now we're going to get on with adding the materials for, you know, maybe the rest of the scene. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Um, so let's just get straight into it. So, uh, with the sofa, uh, that's going to be the glossy metal that's also shared with uh, this thing here. This thing that leads up to the chimney. So, uh, yeah, we've got this glossy metal colour and it's just going to be set to uh, glossy. And that's basically it. That's all it's going to be. And now if we look at this, rendered, you can see that uh, it's just this 100% reflective material and it, it just looks nice like that so that's how it's going to stay um, so there you go that's uh, the sofa material done it's really not hard at all to make that but uh, now we're going to get into the TV okay so the TV screen is going to be a mix shader of just a uh, go into wireframe uh, it's going to be a mix shader of the uh, diffuse and the glossy uh, things the diffuse is going to be set to black like that but it is also going to have the gloss and the factor is going to be set to a 0.1 and the roughness is going to be set to a 0.6 like that uh, the roughness on the gloss it's going to be set to a 0.6 so uh, if we look at the node is it, or the node editor, that's what it should look like uh, so just make sure that your nodes look basically exactly like that and this is for the screen uh, not the frame, we're going to get to that a bit later although it's very similar so if we look at this rendered you can see we have this nice uh, uh, it's not looking as nice as it was in, in my final scene um, but you know, um, maybe if we just lower the roughness down to a 0.4 you should just be able to pick up a few more details and yeah um, okay well that will do I mean it's just a TV screen it's uh, you know the TV's off if you want it to be on then just get you know a picture of whatever you want it to be watching like a TV program or an advert or something just put that on uh, the screen Okay, so um, yeah, now for the TV frame, it's pretty much the same material, has a few differences. So it's going to be a mix shader, and now if we go into the node editor, because I just find it easier, we're going to add in a diffuse shader, it's going to be black, put that into the top, and we're going to add in a uh, glossy shader, like so, and that roughness is going to be set to a 0.1. And there we go, that's the TV screen. It should just have a nice reflection. But one thing you're going to want to make sure works is that uh, you're going to want to be able to easily separate... Oh, set the factor, by the way, down to a point, uh, point 0.2. Oh no, in fact, maybe actually a point 0.3. Right, let's just see how it looks with point 0.2. Um, yeah, point 0.3. Uh, but yeah, make sure that the screen and the frame have, you know, they contrast against each other well enough so that you can actually tell the difference. Um, which, I, it's not really doing too well there. I think maybe the roughness here should stay at point 0.2. Okay, that will... Oh, um, yeah, okay, now I'm going to bring down the factor to a 0.2 because it needs to look like a reflective black colour. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll stick with that for now. Um, yeah, so the next thing I'm going to want to add material to is oh, the couch cushion or sofa cushion, that's looking fine. Uh, this table here is what we want to edit next. It's just going to be a diffuse. It's going to be basically the same as the TV frame, actually. Um, so it's going to be 
dark grey, like that, very dark grey, and it's going to be a mix shader, oh, of course I'll get rid of that diffuse thing, so let's reapply that very dark diffuse, um, okay, and then it's going to be a bit of gloss as well, and in fact it's going to be down to 0.1. Okay, and then for the glass of the table, there is actually a glass material, like so. You take it like that, and that basically sets it to glass. We're not going to have any glass for the windows, because it's just going to be white outside, so it's not really going to do anything. I'll just add in a lot more time to the renders. Uh, th th that. The render time will just increase loads, and it won't really do anything. Okay, so now when we look at this, uh, yeah you can see how the table is looking looking okay although it's making the table transparent not too sure why but um... you can see the stuff behind it, oh uh, it would be the IOR probably uh, it might be set a bit too high so maybe set this down to a 1.2 Okay, that did absolutely nothing, so... Yeah, we can just leave it like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so now for the... The rug here. Uh, this is just going to be, again, a diffuse. It's going to be like a dark red. And then with the light and everything, it will sort of turn itself into a lighter red again. So you don't have to worry too much, although I think that might be a bit too dark. Um, in fact, no, that's looking okay. Maybe a bit lighter. Yeah, okay, let's just leave it at that for now. Um, okay. So, let's see, we've done uh, the sofa. Uh, I think the only. Oh, we've got to do the lamp still. Have we given these material? No, we haven't. Alright, so the lamp stand is just going to be glossy metal again, and this lamp shade was a very annoying material to make, but let's add one, it's going to be called lamp shade, or oh, lamp, uh, lamp shade, there we go, sorry, just made a spelling mistake and everything. Okay, so, yeah, um, I think what I did for this was I gave it like a beige colour, like a darkish beige, something like that, like a khaki colour would be more accurate. And um, then I added in a translucent shader. Then I think I mixed the two in a mix shader. It looked quite weird in the end, but it sort of did the job. So let's just see how that looks. Oh, I've also put in a light into it, but I, it didn't really look so good, but we can do that again if it's what's needed. Um, you know what, that's actually looking okay. Oh, um, keep the colour scheme. Okay, so yeah, that's looking okay, just in the corner there. So let's just keep that how it is. And if you want to put a lamp in, it's very simple. You just add in a sphere and make it bright orange colour. Okay, so how long have we been going on for? Um, you know, let's try doing the fireplace. It might be a bit of a big risk, but, you know. Um, now, the fireplace was a pain to unwrap, but that might have been because it was connected to the room. So one thing we can do is just stick the fireplace and then press forward slash on the number pad. And I'll just uh, get rid of everything apart from this. Okay, so uh, let's add in a. I've gone to edge selection. I'm going to add in some seams at the back, like so. And then one where it goes in to the. in the actual hole. And I think that will actually do a good job. So let's unwrap this. And I was obviously wrong. Oh, press Control A and select Scale, and then do it again. Nope, same results. Um, okay, might want to add in a seam down here in this corner where the camera's not going to see it. And that 
changed absolutely nothing. Um, okay, let's add in some seams over here in each of these corners um, of the inside. So I don't know if you can see it too well, but yeah, that's what it look, uh, looks like. These are uh, the bits where it goes out into the bigger section. All these are all edges here. Okay, so make a seam on those. Um, yeah, it's really not changing anything at all, and it's just looking weird. Um, perhaps a seam. Oh, I've already got all the seams here, haven't we? Um, a seam down here. See how that looks. Okay, that's changed it a bit, but still, it looks weird. Uh, how about we do a smart UV project? Okay, and that just keeps everything. I think that's what I did in the end. Uh, you know, it will keep everything looking, um, you know, it will all be straight lines and everything so you won't get anything too weird. Alright, so let's just scale this up so that the bricks look a lot smaller. And let's uh, select just some of these individual faces and rotate them around so that the bricks are at the right angle. Don't worry too much about these ones because they're not in view of the camera many of the ones that are in view of the camera that you need to work on. Um, okay, uh, that will actually do an okay job. So press that forward slash again and then just take a look just to make sure that the bricks are roughly the same size as they are on the wall. Um, so more like that, okay. So that will do, I suppose. Um, okay, so if you just take a look at this rendered. Alright, I'd say that's looking okay. We might be able to go into the compositor in a bit. Oh, uh, no, we still need to do this uh, uh, thing that the TV's standing on, so we'll do that in the next part. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, might as well conclude this, I think. Um, yeah, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, there's not really enough time to go on to the next bit, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, uh, comment on this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and, uh, I'll see you in the next part, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.